I'm here with uh, Rob Ed Yo. in New Orleans doing a little uh, marketing for the book bomb. Pressure washing, stenciling, and we Rob. I tan uh, just before clean exit. And as you can imagine, what those lights are behind us, we actually have our friend Elijah ready in handcuffs. Not sure why, but I ordered to get back in the truck by uh, by that auto over there. So I'm back in the truck here, and that is uh, that is Elijah in handcuffs already. So um, I don't know how long I can hang out the side of the car here and uh, bring you guys this shot. Let's see and reach up so I can see a little more what's going on. We have just one. Uh, Police vehicle there. So this is what we were doing right there. You can see just spreading a little freedom. Tiny bit of cleanliness here. And uh, I wish I could be there. What's that? Uh, I, wish, I wish I could be there to hear what's going on with Elijah and, and uh, this sergeant here. Well, it looks like he's getting uh, he's getting patted down now. The officer is going through his pockets. That's his cell phone there. Seems a little unnecessary, but I guess that's typical with with police today, right, Rob? I just you can't can't just say, hey guys, what's going on? You gotta jump in and start start uh, yelling orders and putting people in handcuffs. So, I, I wish I could hear that conversation there. Can I zoom in? Let me zoom in a little bit here. And now we got we have the officer coming up, checking out the back of Rob's vehicle here, inspecting our gear, I suppose. Going back to Elijah. At Lost Civilizato, are you mistakenly thinking you live in a free country? Yeah. I seem to make that mistake a lot. I heard him say driver. I don't know. I don't want to stick your head out the window and look. I'm gonna sit on the window ledge here. Get a little better shot for everybody. Oh, oh officer's coming down. You got your ID on you, bro? Let me see your ID. This is what y'all do. Y'all videotape the police. Oh, man. Officer. How you doing? Uh, your driver's license, bro. It says, uh, I want my attorney to invoke, invoke my right to remain silent. I do not consent to a search of any kind. Robert, not of me, my effects, premises. Robert, Let me see your uh, driver's license, sir. I do not consent to a search of any kind. Not of me, my effects, premises, immediate location or vehicle. Do you not? Know oh, all right. You don't want to give me your ID? Well, no, I have a different card. I'd like to read them, but he didn't want to hear me read it, apparently. But I can, I can pull it out, and he can read it himself if he likes. You know, I always have, I always have this card handy, right? Mm -hmm. It's better than an ID. You know this card, right, Rob? Trying to invoke my right to remain silent. Yeah. So I'm gonna. I'm not operating a vehicle. I don't think he has any. Okay. I haven't, I haven't consented anything implicitly in that. So I'll just be here asserting my rights and uh, do what I can to bring y'all this story by periscope. So I'm gonna, uh, I guess, see if I can get out here again without without leaving the vehicle because I was ordered on a roadway to be inside a vehicle. So I will, uh, I will comply. Reluctantly, oh, 
not by consent with that one particular order. All for just, just that one little water stencil. One little bit of freedom. What's going on, Rob? You got an update for us? He was about to let's go. What's that? He was about to let's go to you, didn't give him an ID. Oh, okay, yeah, right. No, he said he was gonna run my ID. Yeah, so he told you that and you believed him? <laughs> Okay, so Ham Libertarian asks, water stencil question mark. Yes, water stenciling is when you take a, a pressure washer and a little plastic stencil and you lay it up against a dirty piece of cement, like right here. There's dirty stuff everywhere where you can leave a message through cleaning and uh, it's pretty hard to object to uh, cleaning a little part of the roads, but hey, why not? Uh, I guess uh, Officer Friendly here doesn't have any real criminals to catch tonight. So yeah, that's the result. Pretty cool. Little guerrilla marketing here. Um, First arrest of the book bomb, Elijah, congratulations! Yeah, I, I don't know if you can blame the officer here for causing this traffic because there's traffic past us also. Yeah, government doesn't like competition cleaning. The thing is, if we keep cleaning little bits of freedom all over the city, people will notice how bad the government is at keeping things clean. Oh, wow, hey. Spotlights. For your safety? For mine? It's not really necessary. Okay. The coffee is ready at Dunkin' Donuts. Mention PFS driver. I don't know if that's helpful. I hope Crystal Preserves is enjoying some uh, free promotion on this video. I don't know. I wonder why he just turned his spotlights on, though. It's not like there's anything that uh, that he can't see here. So it is kind of tricky broadcasting live. If you don't know. Uh, if you're going to get arrested or not, I don't know what I could get arrested for here, but, you know, they always can find some, uh, some reason. Yeah, it's illegal to clean, exactly. So, um, kind of interesting arrest here. You think he's doing it to blind the camera? It's not working. I mean, I can still see Chad, uh, Rob and, and Elijah there. I wonder if, uh... I should tell them to stay like stay away from the the headlights there so that if something happens we can get the video of it. It's a Chad Flex 2 spotlight. Is that what they call that's these bars. They're um they're horizontal on there but they're really bright. All right, so I'm going to duck into the vehicle for just a second here in order to get my uh, my power cable because my phone battery is getting a little weak. So, uh, let me see if I can get that going for everybody. Hope you all are enjoying uh, this this little episode of Adam vs. the Man. Brought to you in part by the New Orleans Police Department. I assume that's... Uh, I wasn't sure. I didn't... Uh, couldn't see exactly. Yes, someone asked... Are they really pulling you over for cleaning the roads? Yes, that is correct. How do you of all people not have a trained program for? I didn't see what they're saying. For traffic stops. Um, I don't know. There's good ones out there. You know, the, the, I remember when I was getting started in activism, 
there was a series on YouTube called Flex Your Rights. And uh, I haven't looked at it for a while because I feel like I'm generally comfortable, uh, you know, in, in these situations. I've, I've done the research. I've watched enough bad cop porn. I know what the general parameters are of dealing with law enforcement. Um, if there was a need, I mean, if no one else was doing anything, I might... Oh, it looks like we got backup. I can see from behind the headlights. I don't know if you can see in the video. There's another police car. There, you can see it just around. On the left, there's another, another police vehicle showing up to deal with these dastardly libertarian uh, street cleaners. All right, so now there's an officer coming around there. So anyway, if there was a need, I would be happy to make to make such videos. I mean, I've done a few that are sort of, you know, contributory, contributing side lessons, I guess you say. Okay, so the officer's coming to speak to me. I'm going to sit down here. How are you doing? Step out? All right. All right, I'm being asked to step out of the vehicle now. Let's see. How you doing, sir? Hey. Good. How you doing? Can you unplug it and walk back to the back room? Well, no, because the battery's kind of low. No, step back this way. All right. All right. Oh, hey, hey. You're fine. Hey, you don't need to. You don't need to, to touch my stuff. I'm not. I'm, I'm not, not touching your stuff. You're fine. Oh, oh, you, you just pulled the cable idea. out. No, you were pulling it out. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on back here. All right, sir. I know this is being broadcast live. Okay. How you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Okay. You got your uh, ID on you. The reason we're out here is because y'all illegally stopped on the shoulder of the road. You understand that? So I'd like to just read you this card if you don't mind, That's officer. Certainly fine, but you, you can't be on the side of this road, which is illegal because y'all were not broken down. Y'all are doing something else, correct? Uh, I'm not sure what you're referring to, but I understand what Listen, you're saying. In just a minute, you're going to be put in handcuffs and we're going to find out who you are, or you can comply and do it the right way. So. What so what what is point, what what is it? What would you be charging me for? What's the probable cause? Basically interfering with the investigation. Okay. Uh, how am I interfering with the? Okay, listen. Whoa. Okay. All right. I'm being put in cuffs. I'm gonna stop this, guys, if you, you don't mind. This to your buddy here. Yeah. All right. Hey, stop. Go ahead. Stop the broadcast. I don't know how to do actually, that. You know, just keep it going. Keep it pointed at me, man. You can shut it down. I don't know how to do it. Just keep it pointed at your driver's license. You just keep it pointed at me. Well, you can hold it up and look at it. It's cool. You're not getting arrested. I'm getting arrested. I don't want to get arrested. What's that? I don't want to get arrested. Right, I, got a, I got a little boy at home. Well, they said you could uh, hold my phone. All right, listen up. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, the will be used against you in court of law. You have the right to talk to an attorney and have a present with you while being questioned. You cannot afford to hire an attorney. You won't be appointed to represent you before answering your question. Okay? I'm sure. All right. Like I said, the reason we're out here is because y'all are acting like y'all are broken down, correct? I see y'all painting something, doing whatever on the side of the bridge, which now means y'all are stopped illegally, which gives me the right to be inside of that vehicle and yeah, find no. out whoever everybody else is in there. You understand that? I don't care what card you have in your reading room, okay? I understand. Adam versus the man is made possible with support from SmartCash. Check out smartcash.cc to find out more about this powerful business focused cryptocurrency that is fast, easy to use, and community centric. SmartCash is designed to be securely used for day to day transactions and put the currency back in cryptocurrency.